Welcome to Adam Zombie Smasher. This is a tower defense game where you have to evacuate various cities during a zombie apocalypse. Yes, I know, we're already playing another tower defense game that revolves around zombies. Literally, the video that went live before this was Plants vs. Zombies, but to be fair, this game definitely has a much darker tone than Plants vs. Zombies. Although at the same time, I don't think it's meant to be entirely serious either, because I think this game is actually supposed to be somewhat lighthearted and comical as well. Those were kind of the vibes that I got from watching the game's intro cutscene, actually. Just from watching the game's introductory cutscene, it kind of seems to me like this is not exactly all that serious of a zombie apocalypse. And I guess that doesn't really come as a surprise to me, considering that this game was developed by Blendo Games, and their games are typically known for being somewhat humorous. And some of you may have also heard of Blendo Games before as well. They are the same developer behind other really bizarre indie games like 30 Flights of Loving and Quadrilateral Cowboy. Some of their earlier works also included stuff like Gravity Bone and Flotilla. And for the most part, their games have received critical acclaim, including Adam Zombie Smasher, at least to some degree. This game does have pretty good reviews on Steam as well. The average user score for this game is 89%, I think, and it's out of about almost a thousand reviewers. It's not a new game by any stretch of the imagination, though, because this game originally came out back in 2011. It was never ported to any other platforms, though. I think the only platforms this game came out on was PC, Mac, and Linux. So I can already tell you that there's only going to be one link that I'm going to be adding in the description of this video to where you can buy the game. <laughs> that I can already tell you ahead of time, but the reason why I wanted to play this game today is mainly because I had meant to cover this game a long time ago and just never got around to it. I know that is a recurring theme with basically all of my videos nowadays. But for this game in particular, it especially holds true. And I guess in a way, playing Plants vs. Zombies recently did sort of remind me that I actually bought this game as well a long time ago, and I had meant to do a video on it at some point, so... I guess you could say that I was kind of reminded that this game existed because of Plants vs. Zombies. I'm like, oh yeah, there was another, like, zombie-based tower defense game that I wanted to play at some point. And well, we're gonna play it now. So I would like to start off by saying that I know practically nothing about about this game, I haven't even played the tutorial off screen at all, and I'm not entirely sure, like, how exactly to access the tutorial here. I know it's telling me to go to, uh, yeah, go to this city first, or this territory. So one thing that I do know about this game is that this game does rely pretty heavily on procedural generation. I believe all of the cities that you're trying to evacuate people from, or I guess all of the maps in particular, all the maps in this game are randomly generated, apparently. So I don't think any two playthroughs of the game are going to be the exact same every time, although as far as I know, this game does not have roguelike elements of any sort. I do think that this game does have tactical elements, though, unlike Plants vs. Zombies. Also, this game is supposed to be very destruction-based as well, because apparently you can blow everything up in every single map that you play on. Like, I think every building that you see on the map, you can destroy it. But I guess in the meantime, we'll just go to Z Infestation, Difficulty 1, Reward Mercenaries, Population 125. Left-click to evacuate Costa Pegapi. I, I, for some reason, I thought that said Pepega. Wow. Twitch has completely rotted my brain. Okay, well, let's go here. Let's go here first. Okay, th was that like a little missile that flew around the, the map there for a moment? Okay, well, what are we doing here? There's some birds. Rescue mission, controls. Click the evac helicopter button. Place the landing zone away from Zed. Okay, so the Zed are like the zombies. Okay, where do I want to place this, this zone exactly? I don't know. The, the helipad goes over here. Good. Click the done button. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, wait, what is th what is this? Why why is this counting down? There's a sun, zero of ten rescued? Uh, an air unit transports civilians to safety. Okay, so... I'm guessing that these... Oh, we can actually zoom this in. Okay, cool. So, you there. Oh, right-click to reposition the landing zone. Uh, okay, wait, rescue mission? What is this? Oh god, there's a lot of stuff that I don't want to read right now, but what does this say? Our Sea Duck L-17 research and rescue helicopters are capable of flying in and rescuing large groups of civilians. Place the landing zone to designate where the helicopter will commence its rescue pickup. The counter on the upper right corner of the screen keeps track of your civilian rescue quota. 
commanders should always attempt to rescue more than the quota demands, the rescue effort needs all the help it can get. The best possible outcome is wiping out every last Zed before nightfall. If you manage to collect Zed from the city, all remaining civilians are instantly rescued. Blood and thunder, strike Zed hard. Okay, but is this- is this helicopter just flying around automatically? Okay, yeah, I guess it is, because it just took off. Uh, okay, wait a second. Should I- I- I feel like this- I did not place this in the- in the right location. How about you guys come over here? Wait, I can look at the controls. Left click, select a unit, right click to perform an action. Oh, you can decrease the game speed with plus and minus. Okay, pausing, quick select, restart. Okay, that seems like like pretty simple controls other than that. Okay, so I'm I'm hoping that this helicopter is doing something useful here. Uh, LZ is hot. Oh god. Okay, wait a second. All the hold on a minute. Why are there so many freaking zombies all of a sudden? Oh, okay. I guess apparently they just killed everyone. Hang on a second. They just they just killed everyone like instantly here. Okay, what what in the world are we doing exactly? Okay, so I know I know that we have to try and and like pick up some civilians. So I'm assuming that the civilians are like the the yellow the yellow icons, right? Okay, yeah, here we go. So we we can just land them on the street. I I didn't know if you could just land the helicopter anywhere, but I guess you can technically. So here here we go. 30 full load, 30 to 10 rescued. Okay, so is that is is that basically it? Okay, so it flies away after a while to try and like I guess drop the other people off. Okay, so I think I think I understand what's going on here. I don't think we need to reposition the landing zone just yet, because I think there's more people that we can pick up for sure. Indeed. Okay, get into the helicopter quickly, though, because I, they are definitely approaching. The Zed are definitely approaching really fast, so I guess this is more like a... Like a, a relatively minimalist kind of, uh, like, tower defense game here, because the zombies are all... The zombies are not even modeled at all. They're literally just, like, magenta cubes. That's it. That's all they are. Okay, well, I rescued 60 people. Is that, is that good enough? I wasn't able to get everyone. Oh, wait a second. Okay, wait a second. Rescue operation. There's one guy remaining right here. Okay, never mind. He exploded. <laughs> Alright, well, frick. We can actually... Oh, we can actually upgrade individual units, too. They got experience points. 1x difficulty modifier. Yeah, rescue goal 10. You rescued 60. Zed infection 65 got a silver ranking. Trailing in points, try tackling more difficult missions to get victory point multipliers. Okay, okay, I think, I, I think I see, I think I see what's going on here. Wait, victory track? You're trailing by five points? Wait, what is the victory track? What is this? I need to rescue more civilians than the Zed kill zombies? Wait, I need an explanation for this. The victory track shows your campaign progress. You gain victory points by rescuing civilians. Every civilian rescue with the helicopter rewards one victory point. Capturing territory. To capture territory, destroy all Zed before nightfall. Zed gains victory points by infecting civilians. One victory point for every civilian bitten and infected. Capturing territory. Every month, Zed swallows up more territory. Okay, but the only thing it gave me at the start was the helicopter, so I don't think I- I don't think I have anything yet that allows me to kill people. Okay, well, I probably do now. Eber Sharks Artillery 421mm Siege Cannon. In witness whereof, the parties here to have executed this contract to the agreement for mercenary services- Okay, yes, we can hire mercenaries, please. I would actually like to do that. Perhaps we can- Okay, somehow we're ahead now, all of a sudden. Wait. Okay, wait, I'm confused. Did we get 20 points because we captured territory somewhere? What the frick happened? I'm just a little bit confused at the moment, but okay. February 1961, midnight sun, shorter daytime, less Zed. All right. So there's like two different, okay, two different territories we can go, so I guess, I, I guess we just can't go to any territory that we want. There's like more territories that open up to us over time. But we can try out some artillery here. Maybe try and actually kill some Zed this time. La Imblu, so we can go to La, La Imblinuka, oh god, I am going to butcher these pronunciations horribly. I apologize ahead of time. Uh, Sao... Sao... Evim... Evimubu? I mean, I'm kind of wondering, are these, like, city names also randomly generated? I don't know. Sao Evimubu. Let's go rescue them first. Why not? Oh, it's raining here. Okay, shorter daytime, less Zed. Planning phase. Okay, so let's look at our artillery first. Siege bombardment can fire one shell before reloading. During the action phase, select... Was that lightning that just struck the city? What the frick was that? During action phase, select artillery and right-click to designate targets. Can we place it on top of the, the building? Yes, we can. Okay. 
And then where where to put the helicopter? The helicopter. I guess maybe place them down over there in just like a very uh like a very concentrated area of uh of, of civilians so we can we can get to them a little easier. Yeah, we only need to rescue 20 here. Okay, so I guess that these uh these levels must go by very quickly, or these levels must be relatively uh relatively short, because, I mean, we only need to rescue 20 people. I mean, to be fair, this is only, like, the second level of the game, but still, this is kind of... I'm still kind of figuring out, like, how exactly to play this. Okay, wait, why is this saying danger close? Danger close? Okay, oh, 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 wait a second. What am I What am I aiming at over here? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I basically just cleared the level already, but... Oh, okay, we're calling it an orbital strike, basically. Okay, so you can actually damage the buildings, so they are correct about that. That building just got demolished. Ah, uh, okay, let me let me just throw that over there then. Well, why am I... I, I shouldn't be going after the buildings. You should, uh, you should go after the zombies instead. That's what I should be doing. Okay, well, actually, that did kill some of them. That strike did kill them. It didn't blow up the building somehow, but that's okay. Uh, reload complete. Okay, let go and bombard that, because there's, like, a huge horde of Zed over there. Let me, let me try and look at this a little bit better. I don't know what this freaking helicopter is doing. Okay, yeah, we can actually kill the zombies that way. Okay, that's fine. That's totally okay then. All right, well, we actually did get a victory. So, does the level end automatically after... I I'm sorry, I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around the, the gameplay loop right here. So, do the levels end once those timers at the top of the screen run out? Or once, like, every civilian dies, or gets rescued. I really don't know. I guess it would make sense if there's, like, no civilians remaining that it would just end instantly. But I guess it doesn't let you hang around to try and kill the zombies either, though. So, yeah, I guess... I guess these levels are actually really short. They're, like, very bite-sized levels. And the, the maps themselves don't seem to be that large either. Alright, well, we got another silver medal. Oh, okay, I see. We get, uh, different kinds of medals depending on how many people we manage to rescue. Bronze, 20 rescue, silver, 50, and gold, 80. Oh, I only rescued 53 people, so I barely got the silver. Okay, but we got more experience points for the, uh, the helicopter, so we're almost about to level that up, actually. And we're still trailing ahead, but it's a very close contest, it seems. We did get an achievement as well, Night Owl. Heavy infestation, large-scale Zed outbreaks, research labs, Developed advanced technology with super scientists. Oh, we get specific upgrades for getting a certain number of victory points. Space hammer at 1200. Orbital doomsday weapon, elephant bird cannon 2000. What? Llama bomb, which for some reason sounds like a, a Fortnite item. I don't know why. And big bad zeppelin. Zed mutates. Gas rupture. Uh oh, gas lines rupture, disaster ensues. What is this all the way over here? Nuevos Eras Victory, Zed Victory. Huh. So we're actively competing with the zombies here. They're almost like, uh, like, like, like a computer-controlled enemy of some sort. So, well, well, I don't know then. Is this, is this like a roguelike, essentially? Is, is that what's going on here? Maybe this is actually like a roguelike. I have no idea. We got snipers now, though. Long range sharpshooters, and witness whereof the part. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm, I want some snipers, please. I want some snippers. And, uh, I got points for that for some reason. Oh, okay. So the Zed also gets points for territories that I haven't, like, liberated yet as well. Okay, I guess, I guess it's one of those things where I have to, like, choose my battles or something. Okay, March of 1961, longer daytime, more Zed, swarm season. Oh, so there's, like, random events that can trigger as well. Okay, maybe this is, like, a roguelike. I have no idea. I still don't know what's going on. La lim... La... 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 Im... Bluin... Wow, I'm just not even gonna try anymore. I'm so sorry. Evagama... Vidau... Vidautui? Vidautui? No, let's go and get, uh... Get this city liberated next, actually. I want to go to this one next. Okay, they're coming from the left side this time. Okay, so... Yeah, the civilians are just there already. Snipers. Snipers will shoot at Zed closest to their aim spot. Yeah, rooftop sharpshooters. Okay, so in that case, you place a sniper team. Oh, if they're going through the middle like this, maybe place you over here. Yeah, kind of... Oh, actually, I can't really aim at both of them. Well, this can kind of work. Well, hang on. Hang on. Would this work a little better? Maybe putting him right here. I don't think... 
that kind of reaches all the way? Yeah, that's their line of sight. Okay, well, that could still work. Because, I mean, the the Z all the way at the bottom, they still, like, you know, they're going to move through that lane, and then they're going to get within their field of vision, so that, that may still work. That might still work, actually. Freaking, where do I put this? I guess just in the center. And then Helicopter is going to go... I need to rescue 30 people. Okay, wait, go in the center, because it seems like there's a lot of people over here, so maybe place them down there for now. And I'm guessing that maybe once I, uh, once I manage to upgrade the helicopter, maybe it can actually, like, hold more people? Because it seems like it can only rescue up to, like, uh, 30 people at the moment, and then it just flies away on its own. So let's, let's see about this here. There we go. And a nice, uh, got a, got a big cluster of people that we're, that we're saving over here, so that's, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm kind of wondering if I should perhaps move it somewhere else now. Like, I'm kind of wondering if perhaps... I should probably actually, like, use this freaking artillery right here. Okay, there, there's gonna be a lot of Zed that are gonna die right here for sure, though. Because look at this. Look at this big cluster. There we go. Big bombardment. Very nice. Yeah, just... just They just explode into, like, green slime. Very nice indeed. Okay, reload complete. Okay, well then just keep, keep shooting him. Keep shooting at him. Okay, yeah, my snipers are definitely doing something as well. Okay, 24, 54, 54 saved. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. I do kind of wonder if I can accidentally bombard myself here, but, uh... <laughs> I, I think, okay, there's some people who do want to get rescued over here. Okay, try and grab them before the Zed gets them. I think we're gonna make it there in time. Those guys at the bottom are gonna get all blown up. Oh, not all of them died, actually. Okay, well, that was weird. I don't know why I was thinking that all of them... They were all huddled up into a cluster. I thought they were all gonna get, like, destroyed immediately, but I guess not. Zed Infection 69, very nice. Oh, I also have 169 experience. Okay, double nice. We have an upgrade available, though. Arrival time 6 seconds and load time 1 quarter of a second. Time needed to load one evacuee. Oh, so we can't actually increase, like, the capacity of the... of the helicopter. 0 0.25 to 0.23. Six seconds to 5.6? Okay, maybe maybe make it arrive in a shorter amount of time, perhaps. Fine, we can do that. We can upgrade that for now. I needed 60 rescues to get to bronze, which I mean I... Or 60 rescues to get to silver, rather, which I almost got to it. Okay, so I'm guessing that in order to do this more efficiently, maybe I just need to start, like, bombarding the Zed immediately once I put the artillery down. I think that's what I have to do. I have to just start right... Like, right-clicking on that and just, like, like blowing stuff up. I mean, we are still technically winning right now, though. 220 compared to 212. I got another mercenary reward. Uh, Poncho Storms? Yes. Oh, Infantry Ground Assault Force. Oh, okay. So we have, uh... Oh, yeah, I think I'm getting points because this territory over here I already captured. Okay, I understand. I understand where I'm getting points from now. So, if I have territory that's captured, I just get points automatically at the end of each turn, I guess? Okay, I think I understand. I think I get it now. I'm still winning, technically, but just barely. April of 1961, new vignette lion. Slower Z movement? Okay, that sounds good for me. Uh, this- what is this vignette? In an attempted coup d'etat, conspirators storm El Presidente's compound. They are shocked to discover El Presidente on life support in an iron lung. Spring-loaded buffalo rifles unfold from the iron lung. Warm trickles run down the conspirators like Excuse me? Warm trickles? <laughs> El Presidente, I may be a different color, but I'm still a lion. Okay, I don't know what they were- what they meant when they said warm trickles. I'm like, wait, is he- is- is El Presidente, like, pissing himself or something? Like, what's going on here? Okay, I'm starting to understand, like, the- the- where the humor is coming from in this game. Uh, oh my god, dude. Uh, there's so many things that they're taking over here. Saint Pinadru? Uh, Campo... Ca yeah, Campo Gaife? Go to Saint Pinadru, maybe. Sure. I don't really know what I'm doing at this point, honestly. Okay, it's raining again. Okay, Mobile Squadron fires at the closest Zed during action phase. Right-click to designate move order. Okay, so, first of all... I... God, that lightning is putting me on edge, dude. Because I don't, I don't know if those lightning strikes can, like, can, like, hurt my units or the civilians. I don't know. Oh, crap. We need to rescue 40 people this time as well. Okay. Helicopter is going to go down here. Orbital strike is going to go somewhere, I, I guess, next to the helicopter? Sure. Where are these snipers going to go? Uh, if we put him here, 
They're not gonna be able to shoot at the, the guys on the other side, though. That's the only problem. I mean, could this potentially work? Perhaps? Just put them down like this for now. Okay, so where do I put the inventory? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you put them on the ground. Where else would they go? I guess I'll let you guys patrol over here next to the helicopter. Sure, why not? Are, are there only four of you, though? It seems like there's only four of you. Okay, yeah, so I guess I guess this is like the area that you patrol. Okay, maybe I put you up here. I'm guessing that's what this green, these green pipes are. This, like, green area of effect is showing them where they're, is, like, showing me where they're gonna move around, I think. Okay, let's, let's try this out. Let's go. All right. So, I'm gonna hope that you guys actually do something useful. <laughs> Hello. Oh, okay, so I also noticed that the civilians do get alerted to the helicopter whenever it does land. Okay, cool. So, what are you guys doing? Oh, God, you guys actually fire really slowly. Also, you're not even paying attention to the guys at the bottom, like, literally, like, immediately below you. What is happening? Why, why are you guys doing that? Okay, inventory. I may need to... Ooh, ooh. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, wait. There, we're gonna go bombard these guys down over here. There's a big cluster of them. Actually, wait a second. There's barely any Zed remaining already. Almost all of them are dead. Uh, okay. Well, in that case... Uh, wait, I can move you guys. Uh, go... Can, can I can I move you back over here? Oh, okay, you guys are actually moving around in, like, in, like in real time. Okay. Well, wait, you're, you're moving towards these guys, so you shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him dead. There we go, very nice. Okay, cool. Oh, there's one guy that got left behind over here. Um... I... 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 Well, perhaps you can... Oh, okay, well, that guy's just gonna run away. Um... Okay, hold up, but we, we need to try and, like... Okay, hang on. I'm gonna do something kind of dumb. I'm gonna do something that- Well, actually, no, there's more that are spawning. It's not even gonna matter. It's not even gonna matter. Okay, so these guys actually- They don't stay dead completely. They do respawn after a while. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, you guys. Go- uh, Come- c Come down here. Come back down here. Oh, okay, so I have to right-click in order to move them. That's also kind of throwing me off. I left-click to, like, select them. And then if I want to move them somewhere else, I have to right-click. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Let's try and orbital strike these guys right here, because there's a big cluster of them. Okay, some some of my boys are still getting rescued anyway. Uh, hopefully we can rescue these last two civilians before they get here. Okay, hang on. Guys, go over there to try and defend them. Uh, orbital strike down here. Okay, wait, it's still reloading. There we go. Okay, are we- are we getting him? Okay, yeah, we actually got the last remaining two, so they're- they're safe now. They're safe in our arms tonight. <laughs> oh, and I did get a silver medal from that. Oh, and the gold was only 100, so I actually got fairly close. 89 out of 125 civilians. That's pretty- I think that's actually my best- my best run so far. In, like, a single level, that is. The helicopter's foghorn attracts civilians used as the seer crowd mood. Okay, yeah, so I can, like, manipulate where the civilians go using the helicopter. Okay, freaking arrival time, load time... We can still increase- decrease the arrival time. Okay, so I guess I can't increase the capacity of the helicopter at all. I guess it's just stuck at 30. <laughs> totally fine. Only 31 Z infections that time. Oh, get fricked, my boy- my boys. There we go. Look at this big lead that I'm taking now. 71 points. Oh, very good. Get fricked. I mean, I say that now, but it's probably gonna come back to bite me in the ass later, no pun intended. Landmines? 357th Armored Snakes. Anti-Zed Explosives. Yes. I'll take it. Happily take him. Territory scoring. Very nice. Oh, ahead by 69 po Okay, why am I seeing this particular number so often in this video? I have no idea. Shorter daytime. Zedpedia entry. Evac helicopter. Uh... I'm not gonna read that. You guys can pause the video so you can read that yourselves. I already know how the helicopter works. Um, oh god, they're taking over a lot of territory, though, that's the only thing. <laughs> Is there, like, a difficulty 2 level that we can try out here? It doesn't seem like it, at least not yet. Uh, Decadean? Oregonza? Yeah, okay, let's evacuate Oregonza just because I like the name. Sure. Okay, we have the landmines now. Wait, we don't have the infantry anymore, though? Where'd the infantry go? 
It seems like we have seven slots here. Okay, so Triv Mind Explosive triggered when a Zed steps on the device. Oh, we just placed three down at a time. Okay, well, let's, uh... Oh, okay, three down at a time, but it's like three sets of three, I think. Okay, so wait a minute. This does give me an idea for something. Sure, play some landmines down there. I don't know how useful that's gonna be, just putting that there, but... This rooftop... You know what, I'll just, I'll just aim at these guys for now, or I'll make him aim at these guys. Sure. Eber Sharks can just go in the center. I guess, I guess this thing is almost like a mortar. It can probably just fire, like, anywhere. Seems like there's a relatively big cluster of dudes, uh, or civilians, rather, in this part over here. Okay, well, I don't know if I want to put them so close to the, so close to the Zed, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll be useful. Maybe it'll help. I don't know. Let's just try it out. Let's just begin, let's just begin trying to bombard these guys, like, immediately. Here we go. Reload this. Okay, well, actually, do the civilians trigger the landmines? Okay, it doesn't seem like they do. I don't think they trigger the landmines. The civilians don't. Okay, hit Mayan. There we go. Got him with the orbital strike, too. Okay, we already rescued 30 people, actually. Okay, very cool. Very cool indeed. There we go. Just just start hitting him. Oh, wait, that's where my snipers are located. I forgot about that. Oh, I wasn't thinking that through. Oh, frick, I wasn't thinking that through. Oh, it might not matter. Okay, the building didn't get blown up. It didn't get blown up. The Zed, however, did. And that's good. We want him to get destroyed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna move these guys anywhere else just for now. Oh, we already completed the entire level because we already rescued 54 people. Okay, so, hang on. I'm gonna move this over maybe to here. Because it seems like there's a slightly bigger concentration of people over this way. Okay, reload. Oh my god, this helicopter needs to come by quickly. Oh no, they're, it, it doesn't matter, they're already here. Frick, okay. Uh, I'm just blowing up more buildings than I'm blowing up zombies right now. Can I... I can move you guys somewhere else as well, can I? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. They're all dead already. Okay, well, I barely got through that one, though, because... I only rescued 54 people that time. And I needed to rescue 50. What can I upgrade on the artillery in particular? Impact time and reload time. Okay. Can currently fire one shot before having to reload. Okay, but we can decrease the time for both of those things. The snipers, refire time, reposition time. Landmines, we can have more landmines if we upgrade it. Okay, well, am I still in the lead right now? Seems like I am. 57 points. Okay, cool. We're still, te still technically winning. Although that may possibly change uh, sooner than later. Martha's murders. Oh, we have dynamite now. Remote detonated charges? Sure. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Still getting some points for now. So I need to get to exactly 6,000 points until I win. So I guess when I get to 6k, I automatically win. Well, I would say for someone who's never played this game before, I'm doing relatively well at the moment. Increase helicopter speed. Okay, cool. That's actually useful for us. Seven Sisters Petroleum. Okay, what is this? Major outbreak. Level 2 outbreaks are much more difficult, but they reward more victory points. Two and a half times. Oh, in Decadian, population 250. Yeah, you know what? I'm up for a challenge. I'm up for a challenge. I want to try this out here. Oh god, they're coming from six different locations, and there's a lot of people here. But we have dynamite, though. We do have dynamite. Control demolition. Chargers are placed during planning phase. Okay, I don't really know where exactly I should be placing any of these, but... <laughs> maybe at the maybe at the junctions right here, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't exactly know. Uh, just, I guess just put them over there for now. Uh, well, I mean, we do have the inventory, too. They can probably try to, like, I guess maybe patrol this area for now? Helicopter, I think, is gonna go here, because I see the biggest concentration of civilians down in this area specifically. Put a sniper on the rooftop over, well, actually, hang on. Place them on a bigger rooftop so that they can aim at more people. As in, like, they can aim at more zombies, effectively. Uh, do, do I want them to, to shoot at these zombies over here, though? Like, on the north side? Maybe? Maybe just let them aim over that way just for now, perhaps. I'll just let the dynamite take care of the zombies on the east side just for now. Okay, Foghorn, you, yeah, all of you come here. We just need to rescue 60 people, though, but at, at the same time, like, we need to, we need to, we're gonna need to make, like, two trips. That's the thing. We need to make two trips. So we're gonna see how this goes. Yeah, full load. Oh, do we not have our... We don't have the artillery here. I just realized. 
Okay, wait, this did not... Oh god, wait, how do I detonate the charges? Oh, okay. I, I forgot... Okay, so I wasn't paying attention when it said, like, remote controlled or, like, control detonation. I forgot that meant that I had to activate that manually. I forgot that's what that meant. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, whoa, wait a second. They just killed everyone, like, instantly. What the frick happened there? Okay, no, no, no. You go over that way. No, 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 go over that way, please. No, don't land there. Oh, God, can I cancel? Can I cancel this? No. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to restart that because I wasn't able to rescue, like, the people that I had to, or the amount of people. Okay. I clicked this button to detonate all the charges. Okay, so let's just, like, do this now, then, in that case. There we go. Don't know if that was useful in the slightest, but, uh... Okay, you got... How about I push the inventory over this way instead? And actually... Guys, you go this way. You come over this way. There we go. A little bit further away from the other Zed over there. And meanwhile, I'm gonna move you guys towards the other people who are coming your way. Uh, ooh, I don't know about this. Okay, actually, I think we're gonna be fine. Okay. We got 60 to 60 people rescued, but unfortunately, I think the infantry's not gonna get there in time, because they're just gonna end up killing everyone else. I'm trying to move the infantry over here. Are there other people still Oh, there's one other guy in the corner over this way. Uh, okay, well, try to go and- try to go and get him. Try to go rescue him before he gets eaten alive. Oh god, I don't think that's gonna- Hold on, reposition. Guys, get the snipers, get the snipers. Okay, actually, we got him. We got him. We managed to rescue him. Okay, he survived. He actually did. And the snipers finally got upgraded. Holy frick. Okay, well, I do feel like, for the most part, that went, uh, not the way that I wanted it to whatsoever. That went, like, basically horribly. Basically horribly. Okay, so some of your mercenaries occasionally go on away missions. During those months, you'll have to manage without them. Oh. Yeah, so some sometimes it just won't let me use, like, certain units. Okay. How about I just make you guys fire faster for now? Sure. Let's do that, for the time being. Oh, I got six- I got a lot of po Oh, right, because I got the victory modifier. The victory modifier was two and a half. So I actually am still winning, and I am at a much bigger lead now, because I'm ahead by 90 points. Heavy infestation! Nuevo's errors survives the drizzle. Here comes the storm. Zed containment protocols have suffered catastrophic failure. Expect larger Zed outbreaks. Okay, so everything- Never mind, I'm not in the lead anymore, apparently. <laughs> Oh, right, because they got the 500 points, which initiates the the larger scale outbreaks. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, 826 Shadow Bloodies. Zed Bait. I'll take it. We'll try it out. I don't know what that's going to do exactly, but we'll see. 619... Oh my god, they are in control of so much territory right now, dude. This is unreal. Developed advanced technology with super scientists. We're almost about to get that, though. July of 1961. Shorter daytime, less Zed. Oh, okay, well, larger Zed outbreaks, but then it gives me a random event where less Zed's gonna spawn. Okay, all right, game. Nice, nice debate right there. Tabahara says goodbye to his grandparents for the last time. Grandma hugs him tightly. Grandpa doesn't recognize him. Oh, that's, that's the entire vignette, okay. Don't quite understand what the context of that is exactly, but oh no, there's more level two outbreaks now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta pick our battles here, man. Outbreak levels? Oh, there's... there's level 3 and level 4. Level 3 is nigh unsalvageable. Zed is completely overrun the area. Out of all four outbreak levels, level 3 zones reward the most victory points. And level 4 is full-blown epidemic, classified by Order of El Presidente, Edict Jambalaya. <laughs> this seems like a rather, uh, peculiar-looking territory, or at least, like, the, the shape of it is very peculiar. Oh god, Zenery, Ariachi, La Samapo. Okay, so I'm guessing these are all meant to be like Spanish names in some way, but again, they still feel like just the way that they're spelled out, they it feels like the names themselves are kind of randomized, but I guess they're randomized in a way that makes them sound like that makes them sound like actual Spanish names. I don't really know. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, okay, I see. It's telling me which units are on away missions right now. So I don't have my landmines, I don't have my inventory, still don't have my artillery. I have my Zed bait now. Okay, so wait, can I actually only have four mercenaries at a time? Maybe so. Maybe it doesn't allow me to use all seven of them. I don't really know. 
Why why would it give me like seven different slots then if that's the case? I don't I, I don't freaking know, man. Okay, so Arihachi? I don't know. Do I want to risk it with another two difficulty like like infestation here? I think I will because I'm actually an idiot. <laughs> now, you know what? I'll place you up there. Because you're you're gonna I, I can actually manipulate the civilian movement so that you guys move on the way up here anyway, so Let's see about the snipers. Okay, I have to pick a side here. I have to pick a side to defend. What can you guys aim at from this spot, I wonder? Uh, not a whole lot, it seems. Uh, let's try getting you guys from an angle. Uh, or what about this angle? Okay, it doesn't seem like there's particularly good spots here. Well, actually, if they move up this way by, like, you know, getting the civilians to move up there, yeah, that actually covers a lot of ground. Oh god, yeah, actually that does. I, well, I don't know. How about we try this? Oh, there's- we have dynamite charges still. Okay, maybe we can surround this area with dynamite as well, perhaps. Maybe we can do that too? Yeah, let's try and defend this area with- with maybe the- the, the sticks of dynamite. Yeah, to try and like bait them to come all the way up there? I don't know. Well, there's also Zed bait too. Left click to place Zed bait. Well, I probably don't want to put that near where the helicopter is going to land, so, uh, hmm. Place it in the center and maybe they'll go towards it? I- I don't know if that'll work, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. And I guess this is one of those things where it's basically gonna force me to try and complete the level, even if I do end up failing it, so... Uh, we'll- we'll see how this goes. Okay, wait, why is this reloading? Zed beacon attracts all Zed when it's effective radius. It's only active for eight seconds, though. Okay, but this does recharge, though. Okay, well, that that's fine, I think. I think that's fine for now. Oh, God, why are you guys going down there? Oh, I may need to detonate this now, actually. Or, or do I? How many more of you guys are still alive? I don't quite know. Okay, they're coming from all sides? Okay, this is actually not good. Oh, right-click to place it. What am I doing? Yeah, okay, well, we beat the level. I'm just gonna detonate this now. Holy frick. Okay, we need to... There we go. Those those buildings didn't need to be there anyway. That's, that's fine. That's totally okay. Oh my god. I don't know if my snipers are doing anything useful right now. I can't tell. Guys, please, get in the chopper quickly before everyone else just gets blown to smithereens. There we go. Uh, how many do we have? 71 in total? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to leave it at that for now. Got a bronze medal only. Two and a half difficulty modifiers, so I still got 177 points. Oh, I can still restart the level to try and get a better score, but... Uh, wait, up to three players can play together? Click the magnifying glass on the upper left corner and select add or remove player. Oh, you can actually play this in co-op. That's interesting. This game actually does have a co-op mode. Alright, well, we got basically the same amount of points. Okay, we did unlock research labs as well. Super scientists have been spotted. Rescue them to unlock exotic and dangerous technologies. Oh, we have to rescue them, though. We have to rescue them first. Okay, well, that's fine. Got another mercenary reward. Barricades diverts foot traffic. Okay. That would also be good for manipulating civilian movement, I think. Okay, cool. Oh, these guys get 20 points if I leave them on the map. Oh. Oh, that's, that's, that's not good. That's just not good at all. Midnight Sun, less Zed. Well, that is actually good. That would be helpful for us. Oh, why is... There's already a level 3. Prepare to drop some science. Click on Research Lab button to develop upgrades. Earn upgrades by rescuing scientists. Okay, but wait. The scientists... Okay, so the scientists appear in the, the level 1 zones as well. There's more of them that appear in level 2 and 3. Hmm. Okay, wait. Can I develop technology right now, though? Doesn't seem like I can, but I have 10... Oh, I already have 10 scientists rescued. Okay, Hell Cabin... Oh, no, you can increase the amount of evacuees the helicopter can carry, but uh, you need to rescue scientists in order to do that. That costs 25. Add an extra barrel to the artillery cannon, which would be useful. Merc training, focus practice, improves, improves experience earn rate of all the teams. Administer auto injectors, improves scientist movement speed, increased to 2 for 15 scientists. Okay. Can we level up the artillery first so that we can just, like, launch more stuff at it? More stuff at the Zed, rather? Because I have my artillery back this time. Rio Kadori. Let's go to Rio Kadori here. Yeah, I want to try and get a... I want to try and get a... 
uh, like play a level that has five scientists in total because I need 15 to upgrade the artillery, right? So maybe try to do this. Fortified obstacle diverts foot traffic. I can't place it within the, the line of the Z. Okay, so how about the... Oh, wait, we can... Can we block some of these guys in? Oh, there's only two. Okay, I, I did not notice that, actually. Did not notice there were only two barricades that I could put that... Could I put this, uh... Actually... How about I just put it back there for now, but we could probably put some landmines down in, so that way we just end up blowing all the other dudes. Um, the blowing them up specifically. Jesus, dude, what is- what is wrong with me? What has been wrong with me, like, these past- these past couple of days? Goodness. Okay, we are trying to blow up the zombies. We are not trying to- to pleasure them in any way, shape, or form. We are trying to cause them a vicious and brutal death. Before they cause a vicious and brutal death to my own people. In the meantime, there we go. In the meantime, I'll put this back over here. Okay, helicopter is gonna go this way. I don't know if this is gonna work at all, but... I want to get the scientists over here, specifically. I think I will get them over here, I just need to use the foghorn. Oh, the other guy didn't hear the foghorn. Well, um... Okay, well, we're, we're rescuing this side. Okay, well, he is actually coming over here. He is coming over here. Okay, so... Wait, what am I doing? Why- wait, no, why is he- why is he running the other way? Why is he running the other way? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, somebody hit the Mayan? Okay, uh, go down there. Go down there, then. Oh, no, because they, uh... Wait, there was- there's one scientist that wasn't rescued down over that way! Oh, my God, dude, what is- I- I almost destroyed the, uh... <laughs> I almost destroyed the building that I put the artillery on, as well. I just realized that. Uh, okay, well... It would appear as if that scientist did not make it. Oh, I might have to restart this either way, because... Or, or do I have to? Do I have to? Reload complete? Uh, ooh. Okay, no, I can't accidentally blow myself up. It doesn't actually allow me to do that, it seems. No? Did I... No? Okay, if there's just one zombie, it's just like... If there's only one zombie, then the helicopter immediately leaves, which I don't... I, I don't know if I fully comprehend that or not, but whatever. L reload. I, I'm gonna try this again here. It seems like it does... We do have the option to concede now all of a sudden, but we're not conceding, okay? No, we're not conceding to anyone. Freak that. Freak that nonsense. No, we're gonna... We're gonna try and rescue these scientists here, okay? If it's the... If it's the last thing we do. If it's the last thing that we do, bud. Yeah, see, the only problem here is that we don't have the inventory. Okay, someone hit the Mayan. Okay, well, that would have been fantastic if, you know... Oh, God, I got an achievement. Watch your step. Okay, well, that would have been fan... I was gonna say that would have been fantastic if you could have, like, I don't know... Uh, tried detonating that before the scientist stepped on it. Because that kind of seems like that's what actually happened. And that was just kinda... Okay, we have to restart already, actually. Well, I'm kinda wondering, though, if I choose to concede, will that still allow me to, like, uh, you know, keep all the scientists that I did actually manage to rescue? I don't really know. I don't quite know how exactly this works. That's the first time I'm even seeing the concede option in the game, so... I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh... God, can you go over this way instead? No, go over the other way. What are you doing? Okay, well, you're 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 getting some guys at the very least, but wait, can I initiate the foghorn even after it's like I was gonna say, can I can I blow the foghorn even after the helicopter's landed? I don't know if that's like an actual feature or not. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna move these barricades somewhere else because I feel like these uh I feel like these zombies over here are like the closest to us. So maybe what we should do is put this over here. All barricades have been- Oh wait, no, I have to- I have to go and move this one. Actually, maybe I should place- Maybe I should keep that one over there, but maybe move the other one down that way? Okay, let me- let me just try this one more time here. Let me just try this one more time. I don't know, I may- I may have gone in a little too over my head with this one, honestly. Oh yeah, because I mean- well, I mean, the scientist has to move the other way around- Well, that- that might not matter, because it seems like he still heard the foghorn to begin with. Okay, well that's fine. We'll see how exactly this goes. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know about this in particular. I really do wish I had my inventory right now. I wish I had the damn inventory. Okay, someone hit a mine. Somebody hit a mine somewhere. Okay, I think these guys are confused because they're going, they're going up the street over here for some reason. I don't know what exactly they're doing. 
Oh my god, please, come on. 25, god dang it. Just a little too late for that mine to trigger. I'm just saying. Okay, well, can I just concede? What exactly happens if I concede? Oh, I don't even get points at all for that. Oh, I thought I, I thought I would have. Okay, never mind then. I got an entry for the Zeppelin. I don't really care about that. Okay. God, there's, there's, oh god, they're getting close to my territory as well. Wait, level four? You're currently trailing behind Zed in victory points. One way to catch up is to tackle territories with high Zed outbreak levels. Try vacuuming level two or level three territory. Try slowing the game down. Press, yeah, well, I already knew that. You told me already. To clear this city, destroy all Zed before nightfall. 35 scientists, though. 100 victory points. Oh my god. Well, actually, wait a second. I think I did manage to rescue the scientists, because it's it's telling me that I have 13 scientists all of a sudden now. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing that even if I do choose to concede, I actually get to keep the scientists that I managed to, to rescue? I get to keep the scientists, but literally nothing else, apparently, because I don't get points for that. Yeah, well, well I guess that makes sense, though. If- because I'm essentially just abandoning the mission, so... I guess that does make sense if I don't get any points from that, but god. Full-blown epidemic? Oh, there is no population whatsoever in this- in this city, apparently. It's literally just all Zed. Okay. You know what? I'll take my chances with it. I would like to try this out and see what this is about, actually. Let's go to the level 4 mission here. Oh, good god. Oh, wow, okay. Longer daytime, more Zed. I forgot about that. Well, actually, wait a second. That's also kind of beneficial, though, because I have to kill all the Zed before Nightfall, it said. <laughs> well, that means it's going to take a lot longer for Nightfall to arrive. Oh god, okay, there's a benefit and there's also a detriment at the same time. Benefits and detriments, dude. I don't know where to place you, so I'm just going to pu put you down there, I guess. Um, hmm. Start maybe by placing the infantry down there? I don't know where to put the blockades exactly. Actually, wait, I just realized, can I just straight up block, like, this line of Zed over here from even moving anywhere? Barricades cannot completely block city entryways due to risk of harmonic Zed implosion. What does that even mean? Find a new position or remove an existing barricade. Wait, what do you mean, what do you mean harmonic? Excuse me? I guess they mean that, like, the, the Zed will just keep on spawning until eventually uh, they all just explode. They all just explode outwards because the, the pressure is building up and then it just gets too immense. Also, I just realized I said exploding outwards. Okay, you know what? I don't even know how to use words anymore. Let's just start doing this. I don't, I don't exactly know what's, what's gonna happen here. Wait a second, I just realized I'm blocking off my own infantry with the barricade right here. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Well, you know what? Orbital strike. Yeah, I legitimately just realized that I completely forgot about my infantry. Well, actually, no, they can get around it because they can just go through that little gap, I think. Can they? Oh, they actually can. Okay, no, they're not completely blocked off then. They're not totally blocked off. I thought they were at first because... Yeah, that was... I wasn't thinking about that placement all too well. Okay, I feel like I'm already gonna need to, like, uh, reposition you somewhere. Wait a second. Okay, wait. Can I... Is there a way that I can reposition this this mortar right here? I have no idea. Because I, I, I kind of feel like maybe I shouldn't have put it around this giant building right here, because there were so many, like... There were so much Zed that were, that were clustered around that one building right there, and I wanted to destroy all of them, but I couldn't because it was just too close. Would have just killed myself. Oh god, this does not seem... Uh... It, it does not seem like I am doing a good job right now, because, I mean, Nightfall is about to arrive already. So what the frick, man? Okay, so how do I... How am I going to be able to blow all these up, like, within just, like, a minute? Okay, can I just concede for a moment? Okay, yeah, it seems like... Okay, well, I am still getting points from the territory I already captured, but oh my god, dude. Because all of these guys are going on away missions right now. October 1961, shorter daytime, less Zed. I mean, that would have been helpful on the other level that I just tried to complete, but we did get a new vignette. Math? Adele Deering doodles in her notebook during calculus class. She calculates how many llamas she could fit in her bathroom. Years later, in her theoretical physics lab, Adele wishes she had paid more attention during calculus class. What in the frick are even these vignettes? I don't know. What does this have to do with the zombie apocalypse? That just combined. They just combined the two with another two in order to make four. 
Oh, that's what you were talking about when you said math. Okay, that's why that vignette was called math. It was, it was like foreshadowing. Because apparently, these numbers can combine with each other in order to make bigger numbers that result in more, uh, damage being done to my sanity. <laughs> and also the surrounding environment, of course. So, yeah, combine the two and a two to create level four. And now we have another freaking outbreak over here. Oh, God. You know, I don't like how the Zed are starting to get really close to the territory that I possess right here. Uh, let's go to Costa Wivo. Costa Wivo. Maybe, maybe try out this level here in particular. I, I feel like everything right now is just falling apart for me, guys. I, I apologize for this, but like, oh my God. Okay, let's, let's just put the bait right there. Uh, I don't even know where these sticks of dynamite could go, but maybe place them around the, the center of the city, perhaps? Because, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna maybe try and place the, place the helicopter within the center. Maybe? Okay, we do have snipers. Snipers could take care of... Oh, God. Well, this is a pretty big area, to be honest. I don't know, maybe that could work. Yeah, uh, the helicopter will go in the middle over here, perhaps. I only need, like, two more scientists before I can upgrade something. Like, I think I can upgrade the artillery, actually, if I'm not mistaken, because I think that needs 15 scientists. Yeah, so let's... I don't know, let's just try this. Let's just try this. Yeah, so something that I have already noticed here is that a lot of these games do seem to be, like, incredibly fast-paced. Which I guess is the entire point of the game. I guess... I guess these games are meant to be, like, uh... I guess this is meant to be, like, a very bite-sized sort of, uh, tower defense game, I guess you could say. I don't know why I chose to detonate that right now. I'm pretty sure I ended up murdering one of the scientists as a result. Probably should not have done that. Like, legitimately, I don't think I should have done that. But, I don't think it's gonna matter, ultimately. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that it ultimately doesn't matter. Okay, that guy actually did die. Okay, scientists, get in, get in the helicopter, please. Excuse me. Okay, fine. Well, I mean, we still cleared the level, but I was kind of hoping that that scientist would come in. You know, they would get in the helicopter as well. Okay, wait, bait. I gotta bait him. Gotta right-click in order to place that. There we go. Gotta just bait him for now, okay? Just go that way. Just go there. Distract them long enough that I'm able to get some scientists here. Come on. Rescue the scientists. Okay, there we go. Frick, I actually got another scientist rescued. Okay, you're- they're rescuing everyone but the scientists right now. What are you doing, bud? Hello? <laughs> okay, well, whatever. We got 90 people rescued and we- we already have enough scientists rescued to be able to upgrade something now, actually, so that's fine. Oh, actually, we can upgrade the helicopter again. Okay, fine. You know what? Decrease the load time in that case. We got a silver medal. We got exactly enough for silver. Very nice. Okay. Well... Did I at least... No, we're still trailing behind by a lot. Oh, no, the gas lines are gonna start rupturing now. Because they're about to get 1,500 points. Oh, God. Oh, they have so much points that they can get now. Buildings with explosive gas lines have been reported. Oh, my God, this is falling apart. Wait, I get the space hammer, though, next. I don't know. Should we... Maybe we could keep playing this until... Okay... Oh, that's that's going outwards and, like, increasing everything. Oh, my God. Play up to the point where we get the, uh, the, the space hammer. Uh, extra barrel to artillery cannon. Okay, we can use the artillery cannon right now. So, yeah. Let's get that. Current shells, too. Okay, good. While I do think it would be a good idea to try and take care of these level 4 epidemics, I think I'm actually gonna try and defend my own territory here for now. I think we're gonna go and, uh, evacuate, uh, Puerto Hillary. Puerto Hillary. That's a very interesting name to give your city, but sure. Puerto Hillary. Here we go. Oh, that's an explosive gas line. When these buildings are destroyed, they trigger massive explosions. Well, we could bait the Zed into going over there and then destroy the building. We could very much do that. Or we could just try and do it anyway, just to see what happens, even if it does end up, like, killing everyone in sight. I mean, okay, what is what does this say here? Buildings marked red signify ruptured gas lines. Destroying such a building causes a volatile chain reaction of destruction. I mean, that is... I, I mean, 
I, I have mentioned before in the past that I definitely like my, uh, you know, chain reactions of destruction in games. I am very much into, uh, that crap, for sure. That is indeed my kind of crap. Maybe in the meantime, we can just give, put the bait over there as well. Just to, you know, keep you guys over there at least just for the time being. Okay, just put the helicopter down there. I'm just gonna start going for this now. And see what ends up happening. I guess in the meantime, I, I don't know, could we just, yeah, just start attacking them immediately, I guess. We could do that. Especially if they're getting baited around that, uh, that general area as well. Okay, somebody, they already hit a mine, apparently. Okay, well, one of the buildings is already going down. Okay, so one scientist rescued. At least one of them got rescued so far. Okay, wait, this is artillery, right? So... Wait a second, I was under the impression that I could, I could, I could increase this. That I could, that I could, like, fire another one. Can I, can I not actually do that? Wait, what in the world? Can I not actually do that? Okay, wait. You gotta... Oh, wow, I'm rescuing a lot of scientists right now, actually. Oh, frick. LZ is hot? Oh, okay, well, I think everyone already died, actually. Well, isn't that just fan... No, I, no, no one... Not everyone died, but they're... Why are you running towards the zombies? Why are you running towards them? Oh my god, okay, I guess this AI is not exactly the most intelligent either, are they? But you know what, go over here, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm just gonna try this right now, can I just, can I just see like how big these explosions actually are? Can we, can we at least go and see that? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just curious, how big are these explosions exactly? Are they as gigantic as you claim? Oh, they kind of are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they kind of are. Just, just a little bit. Just a teensy tiny bit. You know what? You guys go down over that way, perhaps? Oh my actual goodness. Okay. Yeah, guys, come come down over this way. I don't even care about the scientists at this point. I, I swear that I that I upgraded this like appropriately though. I, I feel like I should be I should have like two of them ready to go, right? I can still only use one. Okay, well, either way, we did actually beat the stage. Okay, well, I don't- I don't freaking know what's happening now, then. How about we just, uh, bombard this to just kill everyone and everything? Unless the Zed are going to, like... Oh, these guys are still alive. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no guys, please. Okay, well... This got bombarded. Okay, well, it- the level ended before I saw it explode, but... We can upgrade the artillery, finally, so I don't know. Uh, impact time is only five seconds now. There we go. We still cleared that, though, because we did get a bronze. Fine, then. We got a... We did have the difficulty modifier, too. Got the Cadbird Cannon. God fights on the side with the best artillery. Zed doesn't have the Cadbird Cannon. We do. Rescue civilians and kill Zed to power this super weapon. Okay, well, there we go. The city's been evacuated. I am not getting points anywhere near as fast as I should. Oh god, they're already up to a whole- Zed mutates? Oh no. Level 4 Zed outbreak explosive virulence. Wait, level 4 Zed outbreak for like everywhere, or...? Okay, no. New research items. Catbird 1. Oh, I need 20 scientists to- to use that. Improve rate at which Catbird cannon unlocks. Oh. We can unlock it faster? Okay, well maybe it is something that we can actually like use within a battle. Okay, well, Campo Gatro? What is this? Hang on, we need to try something out here. Explosive Virulence, level 4 Zed Outbreak. Okay, I don't have my artillery here, though. That's the only thing. Okay, it wasn't, it wasn't allowing me to place this one barricade, like, right here, because I guess it was blocking everything else off. Oh god, I am fearful for my safety. Not gonna lie, I am definitely fearful for my safety. How about you guys go down over that way? I'm not gonna put you on... Oh god, maybe I should put you guys away from the red buildings, because those are the ones that are gonna, like, blow up. If I if I end up destroying them, that's true. Um, put the helicopter down over here, and let's see what happens. But this is a level 4 Z outbreak. Oh wait, orbital Cadver cannon's now available. Well, I already know that. Orbital kinetic bombardment. Rescue civilians and kill Zed to power this weapon. When the weapon's ready, select it and right-click map to order bombardment. Oh no. We're gonna, like, but combine that with the red buildings, though, and we're gonna, like, we're gonna just, like, destroy everything. We're gonna end up destroying absolutely everything in this map in just a few moments, I feel. 
Oh, no. Oh, actually, no. How about you guys go over here, like the infantry specifically? Sure. Can I... Wait, no, I still have the infantry selected. No, wait. Uh, oh, I guess, I guess I can't do anything about the barricades anymore. Okay, well... This other Zed over here... Oh my god, okay, well, we got a scientist rescued at least. Wait, we can already use this. I think I am just going to go here. And... Oh my actual goodness. Wow. Yep. Infantry destroyed... Okay, well, I actually can, like, destroy that outright. Wow, dude. That is a lot of bullets. Or that's, like, a lot of, like, missiles that it fired. Yeah, that definitely causes a lot of destruction, for absolute sure. That definitely causes some serious carnage. Um, wow, okay, well that's- that's genuinely terrifying. Uh, where- where should I- where should I bring you guys? I don't know, maybe should I start moving the infantry, like, immediately? And actually, should I- yeah, should I- should I reposition you guys over here, like this, perhaps? There we go, so you guys can actually see them in your line of- your- your line of vision right here. Hopefully? Hopefully this will do something. Do something to, like, stop them momentarily. Go- go over this way, guys. Go over this way. Gotta distract them for, like, uh, for, like, long enough, right? Here we go. I think- I think this is kinda- kind of working. A little bit. A little bit better. Okay, yeah, we're actually kinda, like, kinda, like, stopping them. Kinda, like, stopping them dead in their tracks for now. Okay, um... Yeah, you know, there's... Okay, I probably should have moved the infantry away from that at first, but okay. Gas line explosion. There we go. Just just obliterate everyone. There we go. That doesn't affect the helicopter in any way, though, it seems. Okay, well... Well... The sniper survived too, which is also good. Just to slightly reposition the sniper. See, okay, this is actually going, like, like surprisingly well right now. Full loaded, 90... That actually went a lot better than I thought it would. Oh god, okay, yeah, there's a lot of them now. There's a lot of them. Okay. Um, guys, okay, go, infantry can go over that way, perhaps. Oh god, okay, yeah, g go towards the helicopter, guys. Go towards the helicopter. Hopefully I can get, like, some of the other, the other ones in here. Uh, oh Jesus. Okay, I didn't notice how close they already were to the helicopter. Don't think it's gonna matter. Yeah, 111. That was actually pretty good. Snipers got upgraded already. God, I was only like nine, nine civilians away from getting a gold medal. That was actually really good. That went really well that time. Retire time, or refire time rather. Fine, reposition time, reposition time down to two seconds. Got an achievement, choplifter. What is the, oh, it's the mutations. Mass reports of monolithic monstrosity sighted. Beware of new Zed species. Oh God. After months of rumor and misinformation, Officials admit the existence of Mega Zeds, Ozidax Suprisibus. I thought for a minute that was the Michelin Man on the that newspaper right there, that newspaper article. <laughs> Michelin Man's attacking us. He's part of the Zed all along. I knew it. Okay, well, 1,600 points. Good God, man. I'm not gonna survive this. I'm definitely not gonna survive this. Orbital Doomsday Weapon at 2000, Llama Bomb, Big Bad Zeppelin. January 1962, oh, another new vignette, Robots? Commander Tavaharis returns to his grandparents' compound. He discovers them under attack by killer robots. It's been a long time since I've had to wipe out a battalion of killer robots. The battle is violent. Tavaharis loses an eye, well... Sucks for him. Sucks for him. Not going to read all of this, but you guys can read it by, uh, pausing this video. Yes. I know how you- I'm forgetting how YouTube even works at this point. I'm just so, like... Good god, man. What is- what is happening? Wait, more research stuff. Kraken Bomb? Boosts all explosive weapons damage to Mega Zeds, increased damage to 150%. Oh my god, dude. Lost Pupukra. Lost Pupukra. I'm going over here and I'm just ignoring the level 4s at this point. I feel like this is just a lost cause at this point, honestly. But, at the same time, I'm just- I'm, I'm trying to do- I'm trying to do what I can here. Okay? Here, let's just- let's just riddle this whole place with explosives. There we go. Just- just rig everything with explosives at this point. Aim spot could be for... Hang on. Further away. 
Yes. Because I think what I'm going to do is that I am going to put the helicopter in the middle of... Yeah, this location right here. Where there is no building. Let's go. We're going to see how well this goes for us. And I got to remember that I need to detonate these freaking sticks of dynamite manually. Here we go. Okay, we're already rescuing some scientists. Okay, one of them already hit the Mayan. Uh, I'm waiting for, like, a big cluster of them to come by, though, but I don't see any clusters approaching. Oh, well, I kind of do. Okay, well, maybe, maybe now, perhaps? Okay, I'm very thankful that it didn't actually hit the frigging, uh... I'm very thankful that that did not hit the red, the red building, because that would have been very bad if it did. Sniper, you need to do something about that, that pink guy over there, or those pink guys. Okay, well... Wait, wait, actually... Oh no, you did actually get them. You got some of them. Okay, yeah, just just tear them down. Tear them down slowly but surely. Um... I don't know where... Oh god, I'm, I'm leading them towards uh, the, the Zed again. Okay, wait. Reposition. Reposition. LZ is hot. Okay, well, you know what? Fine then. Fine then. I'm just... I'm nuking all of you. This is just a lost cause. Frick off. Fine. If that's how you want to play it. Oh my god, dude. Press F9 to restart. Well, I mean... Yeah, I don't even know what I was supposed to do there. No, you know what? I am just gonna concede. I don't... I don't really do want to do that all over again. Yeah, this time I only get points from the territories that I capture. So I guess... I get... I get more points at the end of each match from, like, uh... From, like, all the territories that I have captured. Oh my god, dude. Okay, well... We're 1962 now. Increased helicopter speed. Again, I think that would have been useful beforehand, but oh my god. So I imagine that I can probably just begin a new game if I do end up failing this run. So I'm, I'm guessing that this is more or less like a roguelike, where you're trying to complete a run through the whole game and you need to make sure not to like, uh... I, I, I guess the permadeath in this scenario is the Zed managing to beat the game before you, like getting 6,000 points or whatnot. Yeah, so you need to try and reach 6,000 points before them, and then you end up winning the run, I guess. But, man, this is this is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be, honestly. This really seems like a much more hardcore kind of game than Plants vs. Zombies, for sure. I mean, to be honest, I don't even know why I keep comparing this game to that, but... I don't know, man, they're both tower defense games that are based around killing zombies, so I mean, I don't know. That's the only comparison I can make to both games that I think actually makes sense. Yeah, but I think, I think what I'm actually going to do for now, guys, I, I know this is a little bit of a, a, a bit of an awkward spot to end the video, though, but that is actually what I think I am gonna do now. Like, I pretty much already know that I'm gonna end up losing this run, because the Zed are just way too far ahead of me. I'm guessing that there's probably nothing too interesting that happens if the Zed does end up winning the game. Him. I'm guessing that it probably just says, oh well, the, the Zed took over the world and you lost, but you can just, it probably allows you to just restart the game after that, so. And since this game seems to rely pretty heavily on random generation, I imagine that every single run of the game is going to be different every time. I don't know if that necessarily means the, uh, the borderlines of all of these different territories will be different as well, because I don't know if those are actually randomized at all. But there are definitely some things in this game that do kind of feel random, like the uh, layouts of some of the maps, and even the names feel like they're also randomly generated. Because it does seem like a lot of the names of these cities are, like, based on the Spanish language, but at the same time, none of them sound real to me. They do sound like they're fictional. I also don't know if 4 Deep Zeppelin is also, like, a randomized name, too. I don't know if that's, like, what actually is the name of that? Is that, like, the name of my, uh, the name of the group of mercenaries that I'm, uh, that I'm leading into battle here? Or is that the name of, like, the, the country? I, I don't really know. But I do find it interesting how there are some modifiers that come into play later on based on how well you're doing or how well the Zed are currently doing. It definitely seems like a like a bit of a unique sort of tower defense game, but man, it's it's definitely a lot more difficult than I was expecting it to be. It's a much more minimal kind of tower defense game than I was expecting as well, because not only are there not that many units to choose from, but all the units themselves, including the zombies and the civilians, are all represented as just tiny cubes. And you can tell what kind of units they are based on the color of the cubes. Like, the magenta cubes are the zombies, and the, 
The light yellow cubes, or almost like beige cubes, are the civilians. Snipers are blue, infantry are green. Yeah, so it seems like the graphics in this game are actually quite simplistic, but I do feel like they still communicate pretty well what exactly is happening on the map, as it were. Like, you can still very easily tell what's going on. I guess it does help that all the different units are color-coded. It doesn't seem like the game takes itself all too seriously either, because there's, uh, there's some humorous little vignettes that you can also unlock throughout the course of the game too, so... It seems like Blendo Games was trying to go for a bit of a more light-hearted take on the zombie apocalypse. But the humor in this game is definitely much darker than, well, Plants vs. Zombies. But overall, I did kind of enjoy this game for what it was. It's definitely a bit, uh, bizarre and unusual. It's definitely a different kind of tower defense game, for sure. But I do appreciate how it does simplify things a little bit, and it seems like the levels themselves are actually very short. It seems like some of the missions in this game can be completed in as little as two minutes, so... I'm guessing this is meant to be one of those games that is kind of like... meant to be more of a bite-sized experience, more or less. None of the battles in this game are long or drawn out. You kind of just go into one map and you, you just have to place down all your units strategically before the game even really begins and then you can just, you know, start the battle and before you know it, you're pretty much done with the level after that. But I guess your success will depend on how many civilians you're able to rescue, of course, and it does seem like the game encourages you to take risks as well because some of the higher leveled, or, or I guess like the more difficult levels, reward you with more victory points and more scientists that you can use to upgrade some of your, uh, some of your mercenaries even further. So you can choose to play it safe, of course. The game definitely allows you to do that, it seems, but that's not exactly gonna get you to victory any quicker. If you want to get to victory a lot quicker, uh, well, you're gonna have pretty much no choice but to go to some of the higher difficulty territories. And it seems like you really do need to take care of the higher difficulty territories quickly, because if you just leave them alone for too long, they can get completely out of hand, kind of like what you're seeing on the screen right now. Eventually, the map's just gonna get filled with level 4 territories, and then at that point, you're basically screwed. So I guess that's where some of the tactical elements of the game come into play, but yeah, I, I don't really have anything more to say about this other than that. Like, I enjoyed it. It was definitely not what I was expecting, but I think ultimately that was a good thing, because it definitely feels like a unique sort of tower defense game. Might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I still feel like it is pretty well crafted, and I'm given to understand that Blendo Games is a pretty well-respected indie game developer who has made a lot of other, like, critically acclaimed indie titles in the past, so I certainly do not doubt their abilities in creating, uh, compelling experiences. And I would say that this game overall is pretty compelling, but man, it- the, the difficulty does ramp up in this game very quickly, it seems. So, this is a tower defense game that is definitely not for the faint of heart. I guess if you want a more hardcore tower defense experience, maybe you could play Adam Zombie Smasher instead. If you're looking for something more casual, then yeah, try try out Plants vs. Zombies instead for sure. I guess if you're looking for, like, zombie-based TD games in particular, then yeah. If you're casual, go with Plants vs. Zombies. If you're more hardcore, go with Adam Zombie Smasher. But my god, man, this game will, uh... This game will definitely knock you to the ground if you give it a chance. And, well, I gave it multiple chances throughout this entire video. And, well, look what happened to the map as a result. Yeah, the Zed in this game are definitely not messing around for sure. But it's still a pretty cool game. If you want to go and check it out, the link's in the description. The game normally costs about $10, although I do think it is on sale right now during the Steam Autumn Sale, and I think it's currently on sale for 50% off, so it actually only costs $5 at the time that I'm recording this video. But keep in mind, though, that the Steam Autumn Sale is going to be ending on the 29th of November, so it's only going to stay that way for, like, the next week or, like, the next five days after this video goes live, but... Yeah, I just wanted to remind you of that quickly. The game is actually on sale on Steam right now, but it's not going to be on sale for too long. And once again, this game is only available on PC, Mac, and Linux, so the only way that you can play this game is on your computer. I don't think this game ever came to consoles, and I'm not entirely sure if that is going to change anytime soon, because, I mean, this game's already 11 years old, and, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if Blendo Games is still 
interested in making ports of this game. I'm not sure if they ever were interested in porting this game, honestly, but anyway. Whatever, just rambling now, and it's time to end the video, so thank you guys as always for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!